To find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in Na2S, sodium sulfide, we'll use these general rules and a periodic table. So when we look on the periodic table, we see that sodium, Na, that's in group one, and that elements in group one here in our list of rules, they have an oxidation number of plus one. For the sulfur, we look down, we don't see the sulfur here, but we know in a neutral compound, and this compound's a neutral because there's no plus or minus charge up here, in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So we can make a statement like this. We have plus one for the sodium, but we have two sodium, so we'll multiply that by two, plus the oxidation number of sulfur, which we don't know. That will equal zero. They should all add up to be zero because this is a neutral compound. So we have to have a minus two is the oxidation number for the sulfur here for everything to add up to zero. So to recap, we found the oxidation number for the element that we knew, the sodium, because it's in group one. And then we use the fact that a neutral compound, everything will add up to zero to figure out the oxidation number for sulfur. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for Na2S, sodium sulfide. And thanks for watching.